Small is beautiful, so let me show you a teeny tiny 2 inch drone called the YMZ FPV Lightning One. And let's talk why it's actually a pretty cool FPV drone. That's the XYZ FPV Lightning One FPV drone. As you can see, it's kinda smallish because it's only 2 inch of the propeller size and kinda good looking. Just look at the side picture of this drone. Okay, the spoiler in the back is not really required, but the aluminium canopy that covers the drone from the front to the back looks actually pretty cool. As this is the analog FPV drone you get the analog camera and VTX. The camera is the Cadix Ant and the VTX is integrated into all-in-one flight controller. And of course a teeny tiny whip antenna on the top of the drone. Because the flight controller is indeed all-in-one, everything that you need to fly this drone is on the single PCB. Four brushless ESC, flight controller, OSD and of course the Express LRS receiver. Because yes, like quite a lot of of the all-in-one flight controllers for tiny whoops and the similar small design, this has the integrated SPI connected Express LRS receiver. The motors on this tiny tiny contraption are of course brushless and they are 1003 size with some nice twisted wires that connect them to the all-in-one ESC. In the back you get the XT30 connector for the 2S battery and of course the small capacitor to filter all the voltage spikes. Plus a micro micro USB connector to connect the flight controller to your beta flight configurator. Drone came with 3D printed brackets to hold the battery, but I replaced those brackets with the 3M dual lock because in my opinion this just gives a nicer and stronger connection, so no brackets and the battery is held only by the 3M dual lock. And believe me, this is a strong stuff, not a chance that this battery will fall during the flight. You really have to apply quite a lot of force to separate the 3M dual lock. Now, let's talk about the materials. The canopy, like I mentioned, is made from aluminium, but the bottom plate to my surprise, it's not, or at least I don't think that this is the carbon fiber. It doesn't look like carbon fiber, and when I tried to make an electrical conductance test with my multimeter, I was getting nothing. My idea is that this is not the carbon fiber, but some kind of the different laminate. No idea what exactly it is, but it is kinda stiff, looks kinda nice and let's only hope that it will be enough to sustain the bashing this drone might get during flight. This is most probably one of the nicest looking 2 inch drones I ever seen. But the fact that something looks good doesn't mean that is A easy to use and B actually flies well. YMZ FPV Lightning One, my opinion. Let's begin with positives and what I liked. First of all, looks good. Second of all, is very good build quality. And third of all, most probably the most important part, it actually flies good. Don't get me wrong, due to the small size and lightweight, you feel that this is a small and light drone, especially when you are flying outside and there is wind. Because this is just small and light, the external weather conditions are always noticeable. But in relatively calm weather, it is more than flyable outside and you can have quite a lot of fun without being worried that you might destroy it. Most probably, you won't. 
it's so light that it should survive almost every crash. Okay, maybe not abusing BTF over the concrete, but besides that, you should be fine. Overall, good build quality, good flight performance, quite an interesting product. However, let's be honest, in 2023, this product would be much better if it had a digital FPV. Yes, I know, it would have to be probably slightly bigger, but I'm pretty sure if the YMZ FPV wanted to, they could fit a Snail VTX into this thing. But okay, they didn't, it's only analog, and most probably this is one of the reasons it's really light. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!